tumble down the rabbit hole into Pandora's Manor, a sprawling colonial revival. Recently restored and reinvented as an upscale bed and breakfast. Meet the roster of A-list designers who've each been given a bedroom as a fresh palette and see how they've worked their magic to bring this home back to life and honor its classic American appeal. I'm Alexa Hampton. I'm an interior designer from New York. I am inspired by Pandora's Manor in that it's kind of a fantasy world. The fact that they have each room totally different, designed by different designers. It's just so playful and it's an opportunity to instead of trying to do something cohesive and staid, you're invited to be a little zany and a little individualistic. So how could I not like that? When I designed this room, I was told to imagine a guest and I just thought, okay, I'm the guest. <laughs> what do I wanna see? What kind of room would I wanna go into? And I just went from there. And I, I think that usually that means uh, the design is more authentic. The design for this room began with the palette. I have a line of paint and I used a blue for the walls. So that really got me started. One of my favorite color combinations is blue and brown. And I love it so much because blue is such a cool tone and brown obviously has some heat and, and, and warmth to it. And so many wood pieces that one will have. If you had a lot of white painted furniture in this room, it would get very, I don't want to say feminine, it would get lighter and uh, sort of more ephemeral, less grounded. So if you're going to have wood pieces, you, you have to accommodate browns. So you want to get a cool uh, dichotomy between the two colors so that you don't overwhelm in one direction or the other. I really love the headboard with its chocolate brown, its velvet, and then it has covered buttons and uh, contrast piping in the blue that is very complimentary to blue of the walls. And I love the dresser, which is for my collection for Hickory Chair. It's called the Pierce, and it's very angular and it casts interesting shadows. So it has a sculptural quality. It's almost like Brancusi inspired. There are some fun neoclassical touches, there are urns and obelisks, and I'm, I'm a total fanatic when it comes to anything neoclassical. Since I was really doubling down on I thought I would love to carry that notion or that conceit in the bathroom. So there's that fun Dalmatian print on the walls, and I know a lot of people probably are scared of doing wallpaper in bathrooms, especially when there's a lot of steam. But, you know, go bold, go big or go home. 